the next episode start. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't want you to do anything yet. I'll deal with you in a minute. Let's take 10 of you. Uh, that's fine for now. What did it take 10 off? Shit. What was that? Carrots. Yes, yes, yes. So I can get bodies. Okay. Um, you want wine. I really want that prep place too. Double pallets don't bother me. Pallets don't bother me. Um, there's only good if you go for the next pallet along. Now we're looking for zombie mining is actually kind of useful. Zombie wood cutting is what I want. That that would be very very useful. I don't have beams yet. No, no, I don't. Um. Okay. I'm gonna make benches. Yes, I want to make benches. Now, I want 6, 12, 18, 24, 24 planks. So I want four. Four times six, four times four. That's right, isn't it? Six, twelve, yeah, twenty-four. So we want twenty-four of you. Which means we need something like that. And I also want nails, was it nails? 4, 8, 12, 16, that. Okay. I actually want you to go work here just now. And I'll go get some uh, logs. Because I need to clear up the this eventually. Let's go get that other log. Like this, so having a zombie frees up quite a lot of other shit. It means that I can do other things rather than like construct. For example, this. Um, I could always also go ahead and fish during the night or at other times. It's just, it saves me doing shit. That's all it is. I've got a lot of these. Whereas now I can just look into what... Ah, that's a beam, isn't it? I think this is a beam. So I can't do this yet. Yeah, it's a beam. Um, let's just go home. Are you done? 
you are done. Okay, you go here now. And they'll put that in the chests automatically, which is really nice. I don't have to pick anything up. It does limit the amount of points you get, but I can make enough. That's also been okay. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Fair enough. Okay. So. I could do these, but I can't. I don't have the seeds for them yet. And I don't. There's nothing here I want, I don't think. Garden bed with sticks. No. Trunk. No. Um. Yeah, there's nothing I want. I guess I'll help out. So that I don't have to wait forever. There we go. And I'll go to sleep. That's one of the problems is they take fucking forever to do anything. But, eh, it's fine. It's better them taking forever than me spending time doing it. Automation is nice. Um, I don't know what I need for you. Twelve nails. So I need nails and flitch and I need, um, yeah, I also need food, yeah, I need food for you, don't I, yeah, I'll, I'll go pick up the honey, I like picking up the honey, hey, I got a bee, nice, bees are clusters, um, thingies, Let's put you in there. I'll actually put you in there too, and all of you. That'll help with the happiness. I think bees are classed as um, bait, I think. So that might be something I haven't used. No, it's not my, I haven't used bees yet. Plain and simple. There's another bee. I'm losing a decent chunk of health from these. Like they do chunk out your health. Hey, nice, okay. I'll take that and I'll go home and we'll make this body. Or bury this body, not make it. I actually forgot. Oh. Wow, it's a nice day for a bonus corpse. Wait, it's still moving. Maybe the poor fellow died quite recently. I've never sliced up a warm one before. Let this body cool off a bit. I'll take care of it later. What? You're alive? Okay, I'll help you, but stay calm, okay? Otherwise, I can't bite you up. And, okay. Whew, good job, fella. Where am I? Is this a village? Yes, but how are you? And I assume you're the keeper, right? And we're in the morgue right now. Yes, how did you? There's no time for all the yakety yak. My name is Yurik. And that must be enough for now. I am in trouble. I bought a keeper's book from a creepy man with a scar. According to the book, there's a locked door in the morgue. I, I'm expecting... I expect you're aware. And yes, this is the door. Give me the key, keeper. I don't know what key you're talking about. Are you joking or what? No, not joking, quite serious. And you've no idea. 
idea what book is in my hands. Nope, not a clue. Oh crap, listen carefully. Then I'll read this bit for you. And I glued the key with my chewing gum to the inner side of the skull. I have no idea what skull it might be or where it is. For of course I am no keeper, it falls to you, keeper. It fa falls to you, find and bring me the key. And what happens when I do? Oh, you worry about the key. Meanwhile, I'll look for the keyhole. Yep, I know what this is. Uh, so, first things first. Let's fix these bodies up. Because I do actually want to like deal with this first. So the body doesn't rot. And then, yeah. Like, there's going to be a lot to do now with bodies, but it's fine. It, having more to do with bodies isn't a bad thing. Especially when I can start putting them in chilled storage. It might be better not to mention anything about the key that's stuck inside his, his head. Just look at that face. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about something. I've never seen you doing any of that before. Ha. <laughs> never mind. Just kidding. So what's in your mind? Well, I was just thinking you might enjoy a little cleaning. What? I mean, you must have been buried in the ground a long time. And now you sit here all day among the dust and the dead bodies. What if we freshened you up a little? We'll have you smelling real nice with hints of beer. Sard, I never thought of that before. You're a real bright star. I'm in. <sighs> Bring a mug of beer and some rubber sand. Yep. Yep. I can do that. I just need to get the sand. Uh, pardon me. I don't know what the sand is. It's over here. Wah, wah, wah. And then I can, like, you can melt this sand. This will... I really should do this more. Because it gets me blue points and green points. Um, you go to the dead horse. Like, I don't have to rush this. Trade. You. Yeah. And then I want a mug of beer. Yeah. I also actually want to check something quickly while I am here at night. Hey, dude. I have a skull for you. No, I have the keeper diary for you. Yes. Yes, I will deal with you later. Yeah, we have a B now, don't we? Oh no, B. No, no B. No, I thought we used Bs. I thought they were used for B. Um, okay. So, we can now do the thingy. So, I go home. And then get key. You're almost done. So, I can start building benches very, very soon. Let's start. Are you ready to shine as bright as a diamond? I'll be so cool after I'm all washed. Should I be afraid someone will want to steal me? <laughs> There's nobody around, Gary. You seem a little too fussy today. You know, I don't think so. Just a lot of things to do. Let's get started. Careful around my nasal cavity. It's a little sensitive. Anything you say, Gary. Hey. Oh. Hey. hey, hey. Ah, that was the spot. And what a smell. Hmm. I must say, you have soft hands. Thank you. Enjoy your cleanliness. Finally, I was just about to take a nap. I need some time to find the key, this key. 
Quickly, give it to me. So, did you find the keyhole? Certainly. That part was child's play. Like, I actually really like the soul system in this game. And I cannot wait to use it. It's really fucking useful. Really useful. Oh my, what a mess. What happened here? Oh, the workbenches. They're totally broken. Just a bunch of broken beer and wine bottles. What should I do now? Seriously? What happened here? Well, we're here now. Maybe you can finally tell me what's going on. It seems I have little choice. Listen, like I said before, I'm in trouble. In fact, I'm on the run. I committed a bit of a crime. Crime? Oh, don't worry so much about that. I didn't kill anybody or hurt anybody. It's a difficult life in town these days, even more difficult for certain kinds of criminals. I had to steal my own money to buy a, key a keeper's book in the black market. Long story short, in order to escape and cover my tracks, I pretended to be a corpse and waited for a long time. Once on a rainy evening, some judge took me into his home wet and hungry. Thanks to him, I had a roof over my head and food to eat. He had but one condition, that I become his assistant. The judge had an old servant woman, quite well educated. She taught me how to read and write. So that's how I got my start dealing with tons of monotonous paperwork and all manner of people. What you decide to run away from the town? In fact, I never wanted to run away. But it is what it is. I never expected that Bishop wasn't just a smug crook. What? Bishop? A crook? He swindled me for a lot of money. I sold nearly all of him. I own. For this endowment, the Bishop promised to, to cleanse my soul of sin during service at the local church. All I got from him was some crappy prayer. Oh, and that God will forgive me, of course. Cleanse your soul of sins? Yeah, you know, I had enough of my boring life. I even started seeing paperwork and faces in my dreams. So many taverns, so many fights, brothels with their puffed up lassies. Boring court sessions, endless shouting, objections and fights, always fights. I got fed up with it. We all bear our sins. That's what they teach us, right? Or so I thought. But what if uh, our, what if one could cleanse himself of sin? Taking a fresh breath of air and be free. That's why you're here. Yes, I managed to find a keeper's book on the black market. To acquire it, I had to take all my money back from that charlatan. Naturally, it's strange that you know... Nothing about this book, but very well. Well, I'm not the only keeper. Oh, I see. That explains why you look so lost. <laughs> this book contains notes on procedures for healing a soul of its sins. How's that? I don't understand. With the help of these book and bark benches, it also says something about healing a living soul. But damn it, some of the pages are simply torn out. You just can't trust anyone these days. Maybe we can figure it out ourselves. Oh, well, that's a brilliant idea. This room and all its contents are to be yours, and in return, you will help me solve my little problem deal. Yeah, I don't know yet, but I'll definitely have to stay here for a while. They're probably still looking for me. There's so much fucking talking. Do you see that door? Yes. There's a small room. I'll keep myself out of the way in there. You don't have to worry. No stranger will find you here. That's great. Wait, what should I do? Oh, look. It says here there should be a workbench with some blueprints. You'd have to clean up this dump anyway. Judging from how the book is written, keepers are highly intelligent individuals. I'm sure you'll know what to do next. Yeah. Hmm, what's that? Hey, Yurik, do you know what that is? I have absolutely no idea. Let's see if the book says anything about a box. Well, not much. Just a smidgen of bold text saying it's better not to touch it. Let's touch it! But that only makes me even more curious to learn what's inside. Maybe we really shouldn't touch it. The notes in the book haven't steered us wrong yet. Oh, come on. What could possibly be wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's filled with poisonous spores. Ha! Huh? A pair of dirty old socks? More like... That's the greatest danger this box holds. 
Interesting. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Maybe we should get some tools. No need, we'll manage. Fuck that hurt. It looks like you fixed it. What the fuck are you? I have the same questions. What the hell are you? I'm Graveyard Keeper and this is Yurik, town resident. I, I mean, former resident. And you are... I don't know who I am. I don't even have a name. I was born in this dungeon with the help of a graveyard keeper with a moustache. If you don't have a name, we should give you one. Let's call him Ripple. You're something simpler for your our own sake. We'll have to say it every time. Uh, that was just a joke. Fine, we'll come up with something simple. How about... Huh, I've got it. I like your expression. So we'll call you Smiler. Are you sure that's a good idea? I like it. it. Sounds funny. I gather you've been stuck in that box for quite some time. And how much time has passed? I don't know. Definitely more than a couple of years. It seems like it. Alrighty. It was glad to meet you, Smiler. I'll get going. I've got some things to do. Yay. Um. Yeah, they're the these are the best of the best. These things up here are the best of the best. But what I want is remote craft control. I don't want to find out more about any of them right now. I am not in the mood. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of things to do. Lots of nails, lots of simple parts, lots of flitch. Okay. So I need lots of nails, lots of simple parts, and lots of flitch. Cool. Okay. I can't believe I've not even spent a day. I've still got to do this too. Five red apples. I can do that. I don't know how to do the cookbook. I don't remember how to do the cookbook. I always want to do something. Yes, I know what I want to do. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, first things first. Let's put away the broken glass, the sand. Actually, let's not put away the broken the sand because I want to burn it. Yeah. Um, you go here and make me firewood. Um, and then we'll go here. No, no, we won't. Not yet. I want to finish up everything around here first. So before that, let's do this. I can put the honey in here. It's fine. The beeswax will eventually go downstairs. The bees will go in here. The beeswax I do want in here actually just now. Uh. Yeah, now I can go to the lighthouse. Do you have a new diary? Great, great. How many important things there must be in this book? Amazing. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. 
So, how can I open the portal? On which hill? Let me see, you need to craft a spirit laser. But I don't know what a laser is, sorry. It should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal. Hmm. You need to craft it in two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. The pride, the mirror of pride, an eternal coal and a salted fork. What about the second part? The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it first. I think I'll need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. Yep. Where can I find this stuff? He wrote this, friends in the town, blah, 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 blah. It sounds like a delusion to me. Magic nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with uh, something you can see. First, I'd check the pedestal near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. Okay. So about that acid. Where can I find the acid? I can make it. Restoration tools. Uh, the Inquisition. I definitely know that right there. I should talk to Snake. Yep, I need your help. Nope. And you are annoying. Let's buy these. I just have to fish a lot. And the apples as well, I can actually... I can send the apples to somewhere else, it's fine. I can't believe how much I have to actually fish to get anything. Um, oh shit, yeah, he wants honey. I forgot about that. Uh, I could make hemp. I could make hemp, actually. Uh, but, but uh, I could fish for ages. Like, I can get so much fucking anchovies, and I can sell the anchovies to um, that guy. Like, a lot. But I don't really care. I just want it for the achievement. Ugh. I literally just want it for the achievement. I'm not gonna catch anything like this. What? What? Ah, oh, fuck. I literally just wanted for achievement also eat. Just to catch them faster. Really? I'm pretty much bound to catch something here. I just it might just be shit, or it might be a meal. Fuck. Damn it. And trophy. I know eels are better, but I don't really care. I just want lots of fish. I also need a lot of honey.
Okay. Yeah, I don't know what sells for more, but like just go, just doing that fishing takes no time. You can literally stay there the whole day and not do it, like take any time or anything. What does it do again? Good fisherman, you don't let fish hook off the hook easily. I'm surprised you don't want that. Uh, they're worth 28 and they're worth 14, okay. I just need to sell so many. Eventually, once I sell enough, I'll be able to get this better um, fishing thing. I think, though, we'll be done for today. Um, let's go home. Let's actually put the apples in the thingy. Because, yeah. And do this. And I'll do this. I could put hemp here, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's go to sleep and we'll finish up the stream. Uh, tomorrow I'll have to look into my uh, fuck all. Oh wow, I need to really rest. Uh, anyway, yes, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all had fun. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.